Gary Wan, an INSEAD alum from 2002, made a big mark on China's online media scene with the launch of video sharing site Tudou. He's now embarking into the world of animation in China, and he joins us now on INSEAD Knowledge to tell us all about that and his other future plans. Gary, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, my pleasure. Gary, having first pioneered online video sharing in China, you're now embarking into the world of animation. How are things progressing here? We have made some real progress. Uh, the studio has been around for about less than six months. Uh, we now come to about uh, 20 people. Uh, it's a quite international team. We have, actually, we have a couple of people uh, based in the US, and we has, have also hired a couple of people from, from the Hollywood and bring them back to Beijing. Uh, we have found a pretty solid and really talented local team, uh, very young actually. So, um, so things are moving forward uh, very well. We are very uh, surprised by the, by the level of talent pool that we can find in, in China. There are a lot of very young and very talented uh, people in, in China just that uh, they never had the kind of experience before to be able to work with uh, um, colleagues who are equally as talented as they are. So um, there's a high degree of excitement all around. Yeah. And what experiences would you say you've brought forward from your experience of starting and running Tudo into your new an animation venture? Tudo is something that I started just an idea in my mind. Uh, and I was able with a, a group of very, you know, very committed people to take it basically all the way from an idea to a company uh, that was eventually listed uh, on NASDAQ and then we merged with another company and basically it went through the full life cycle of a company, uh, if you will. So, so we, you know, all over a very short seven years of period. So um, that kind of uh, experience I think is, is, is extremely helpful for me to be able to look at Light Chase Animation Studio, uh, the company that I'm working on right now, uh, to be thinking a few steps ahead. Uh, and most importantly, I mean, some, sometimes when you are first doing something, uh, it's, it's difficult to, to make a priority and make a judgment on what's truly important. Uh, for example, I mean, we are very often got misled into uh, numbers and financial performances and things like that. But uh, having been through Tudo, I realized how important, how crucial culture, uh, mission, and, 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 and what put all these people together and working on, on a common goal. And that's truly the most important thing. Um, so, so for uh, the animation studio now, we spend a tremendous amount of time trying to get this sense into everyone and try to listen to everyone exactly what they are expecting from the company and, and how we will be able to build the company uh, with the, pe the people that we have together. So that's, uh, it's not just my vision alone, it's all of us. So that's, uh, I think that's the single most important lesson that I have learned from, from Tudor. For Tudor and now your new venture into animation, how did your ideas come about? Was it one big idea or was it a lot of different ideas filtered down into that one solid idea? I don't know about others, but to me, um, I think we are uh, by nature being a creative person and being an entrepreneur. Uh, but it's, it, it, to me, it's natural that I ran through quite a few ideas, and some of them, now looking back, were completely dumb. And I'm very glad <laughs> I did not pursue those ideas. But, uh, but I think there are two or three ideas. To this day, I will still think t they are valid ideas, and, and I could still do them now, even. Um, so too though, but at the time, and it just come at the right time, at, at the right uh, <laughs> industry, uh, in that industry junction where it happens and, and, and you had much greater impact than some of those other ideas that I, ha I have had. So I, I think it's, it's, it's kind of like just, you know, it's survival of the fittest. Uh, whichever idea that happened to, to, to be around and people, and not just me, uh, but the rest of the team, uh, they, 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 truly, they truly believe in the idea and that make the idea, you know, 
carried along, basically. How challenging has both the online and offline content business been in China, and how do you see it shaping up in the next five years? I think fundamentally, um, the way the content being created, how, you know, what kind of things that will appeal to the generation of uh, new generations of people, how information get shared and transmitted and get feb uh, feedback, and all these kind of things are, are, are getting uh, changed. So, so the way the content is being created and it is entirely, uh, it's going to be entirely different right, three or five years from now. So I, I believe uh, as we today no longer spend that much time you know, looking between whether this is online or offline, a kind of piece of content, just a piece of content, um, it, will be, uh, it will be even more interesting just to, to see purely just measuring the eyeballs, right? um, and and doesn't matter where they are. Um, and uh, and for, for, for a long time, everyone was talking about the demise of professional content, like UGC is going to take over and all that stuff. I think it's, uh, it's pretty obvious now that there is going to be a, um, is, uh, UGC, user-generated content, professional-generated content, or even those premium content, uh, those things that you will spend millions and tens of millions of dollars to create, and they are all going to have their long life ahead. And where are you aiming Light Chaser Animation Studios? Are you aiming more towards the online or offline space? For this animation studio, if we look at the um, distribution channel, we are primarily looking at a traditional channel, meaning that we will still need to have audience go to the movie theaters where they can pay the tickets and go watch the, uh, and see the movie. So that's going to be probably the majority of, uh, of our revenue uh, for the foreseeable three, five years of uh, time. But then uh, this, you know, we, we have been looking at this business and we realized because we came from the internet world, and it's it's our second nature to do everything by, by the way of the internet, right? Uh, being open, and sharing everything, making sure all the team members will be able to pretty much see the same thing as we see them. And how do we get the information in and out? How where do we get the feedback? And how do we do the uh, f fast iteration? Right. So all these kind of things we are very much used to, and then we realized it often is not done that way in a traditional animation studio. Um, so, so interestingly enough, when we do this, uh, typically people will think we'll be looking to distribute our content online. But what we find, find out is actually we are going to most likely distribute our content just you know, as the traditional uh, way. But it's how the content being created, uh, we are doing it uh, quite differently. Gary Wong, thank you for joining us on NCI Knowledge. Sure, thank you.